Now talk about coincidence or fate or whatever you want to call it, guys. I was just sitting out there in the backyard talking to you about how I was thinking about buying in this area. Literally, as I was sitting on the computer in the house that we're staying at, this house, literally right next door, just went up for sale. And I was sitting there, I saw the guy come by and put the sign up right in the yard, and I was the first one to call about the listing, so no one's even seen the house yet. And I'm stoked to come look at it because the house looks brand new, basically, and this area is amazing, so let's see. So I'm trying not to get my hopes up too much about that house since I don't know how much it's even listed for right now. When I called the realtor, she said that uh, she doesn't even know the price yet because I guess it was like the girl that works in the office. So we're just heading to the beach and trying to enjoy a little bit of the Florida sunshine for a little while and try to forget about real estate for a little bit because even after we leave the beach, we're gonna be heading down to the Palm Coast and checking out some houses over there a lot of people have asked me about that area in the comments and I've never been there before so I'm looking forward to checking it out and seeing what exactly that area is all about and what the houses and neighborhoods are like but right here we pulled up to the pier over by St. Augustine Beach but we quickly left this area because it was just kind of too crowded and the beach is actually very small and we decided to head a couple blocks down instead finally made it to the beach this is day four of the trip and now i'm finally relaxing on the beach in saint augustine which is great because i have never actually came to the beach here and experienced what it's like to be at the beach in this area and i definitely do like it although i would say i like the beaches back home in miami a little bit better just because the beaches here are a lot rougher you can definitely surf here i'm seeing surfers here but, you know, when the water's murky, I don't really trust getting in the water because when I can't see the bottom and I don't know what's swimming around in there, I'm just like in and out. But other than that, I love it. You know, that's not a big deal. Funny story about that house I just showed you guys a little while ago in the last video or whatever I put up here. The house that went up for sale next to where I'm staying at the Airbnb. So I got a message from the realtor. I was the first one to call about the house and no one has seen it yet. And I'm supposed to see it later today at 4 p.m. But guess what? I am shocked by the price. They're asking $550,000 for that house because the market here is so hot. And I've been researching this area for a while since the first time I came to St. Augustine and kind of like tracking the market and prices. And this area is not as affordable as it used to be, guys. I mean, that house, is not that great as far as like the size the location is very good don't get me wrong but now we're talking miami prices for houses and you know i'm not i'm not so sure if i'm willing to do something like that but i will still look at it because i'm mainly interested in a house hacking situation where i could buy the house and live in the main house and rent out the guest house which looks like they have something like that in the back and do like an airbnb in the back to help supplement the cost of the house and it will make the house a lot more affordable but um, yeah we'll see I don't know if they're gonna let me video the house later on I'll keep you guys posted and by the way the beach out here is beautiful just so you can see real quick that's the pier behind me I parked by the pier for a minute and it was just too crazy busy came down here by this more calm and residential area and I love that the parking's free so I gotta pack it up a little bit and uh, head out of the beach here but I want to show you guys how it looks out here on my way out of here so you get a sense of how different it is than Miami so first of all the sand here is kind of funny because it's like very um, rough and lots of seashells here but then as you get closer to the dunes it kind of transitions into the more white powdery sand and I'm not sure if that's erosion or what's going on there but that's kind of interesting and you guys can see the pier down there in the distance but one thing that's pretty cool about the beach over here is there's no high rises on the beach which I love because that means you get to spend all day at the beach and not have to worry about losing the Sun like is a major issue in Miami and Sunny Isles in particular which 
I said in my driving tour recently that it should be called Dark Isles for sure. But that's not a problem here in good old St. Augustine. You see, look at this. The sand here is super white and fine and powdery. It feels like walking on marshmallows here. You can see how large the sand dunes are here. They gotta be at least 30 or 40 feet high, which is excellent natural protection against a hurricane. So there would have to be one hell of a storm surge coming through here to actually have the, o the ocean penetrate this area because the storm surge would have to basically come over this dune to get down by these houses. And I notice a lot of the houses over here, they actually are smart and they build up. You can see this house is kind of built up from the street a little bit. Some of them are even on stilts too. So you can see here the house has like the garage there and then most of the house is on the second floor. Some of them have some ground floor areas to it, but most of them just have the garage like this one here, which makes a lot more sense because it's not such a big deal if the garage gets flooded. But I just love this area, guys. It's so beautiful. Although I think it's becoming unaffordable and I'm probably gonna make another little vlog or video talking about that because just in the two years since I visited here last, a lot's changed with the real estate market here. And these houses here on the beach are pretty much all well over a million dollars. So forget about buying anything right over here unless you're rich.